President Rodrigo Duterte orders the total lifting of the deployment ban on overseas Filipino workers to Kuwait. The move comes after the Philippines and Kuwait signed a memorandum of agreement providing additional protection for OFWs in the Gulf state last May 11. The spat between the Philippines and Kuwait, simmering for months, reached its lowest point in April when Kuwaiti authorities expelled Manila's envoy over videos showing embassy staff helping Filipino workers flee allegedly abusive bosses in Kuwait. Duterte in February prohibited workers from heading to Kuwait when domestic helper Joanna de Mafelis' corpse was discovered in a freezer in her employer's home. Labor Secretary Sylvester Bellio III says the deployment ban will be lifted for both domestic and skilled workers. The Foreign Affairs Department says around 262,000 Filipinos work in Kuwait, with nearly 60% of them domestic workers. Thirteen senators, or more than half of the Senate, signed a draft resolution urging the Supreme Court to review its decision to oust former Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno. Senator Kiko Pangilinan says the resolution, which was drafted by the opposition, will be filed Thursday. Voting 8-6, the SC last Friday granted the co-warrant a petition that sought to remove Sereno. In the resolution, the senators asked the Supreme Court to review its decision to nullify the appointment of Sereno as Chief Justice. The 13 senators who have so far signed the resolution are Pangilinan, Minority Leader Frank Chilon, Risa Hontiveros, Antonio Chilianes, Laila de Lima, Bam Aquino, Ralph Recto, Cheese Escudero, Sherwin Gachalian, Joel Villanueva, Grace Poe, Sonny Angara, and Senate President Coco Pimentel. United States President Donald Trump sounds a note of caution Wednesday about his summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un following Pyongyang's threat to cancel. Trump says the U.S. government did not receive any official word of a change in plans for the June 12 meeting in Singapore. He says, quote, We haven't seen anything. We haven't heard anything. We will see what happens. Whatever it is, it is. After weeks of warm words and diplomatic backslapping, Pyongyang abruptly threatened to pull out Tuesday over U.S. demands for a unilateral nuclear abandonment. North Korea warned it will no longer be interested in dialogue if the U.S. is trying to drive us into a corner to force our unilateral nuclear abandonment. North Korea's first vice foreign minister also slammed into Trump's national security adviser John Bolton for drawing parallels between North Korea and Libya, calling the comparison absolutely absurd. Bolton has pushed the idea of a deal with North Korea like that reached with former Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi, who agreed in 2003 to the elimination of his country's nuclear program and chemical weapons arsenal to gain sanctions relief. After giving up his atomic program, Gaddafi was killed in 2011 in an uprising backed by NATO bombing. Mm-hmm.